How's it going folks, Stu here. Bit of a random one for you guys today, as there's a small little indie film that's about to come out over here in the UK on digital platforms, which popped up and I thought, huh, I feel like I recognize that. Turns out it was one which I missed when I was in Texas last year for South by Southwest, so I thought, hey, let's unmiss it. That film is Jessica, and no, I didn't just put on a list for the hell of it to mock people with speech impediments, so that is, it's in a name, it's intentional, Jessica. Th there. <laughs> So Jessica is a really low budget, super low key indie film from Pete O's, who is a director and writer I've not seen much of before. And this is one of those films which it's quite hard to describe and I almost don't want to say too much about because of the charm of it kind of revealing itself to you in the moment. But in its simplest of forms, it's essentially about a woman dealing with a stalker who rears his head back up when she attempts to get away from him by going to the middle of buttfuck nowhere. But it's a really peculiar and intentionally offbeat and strange sort of merging of comedy and thriller and horror elements and drama. And whilst I can sometimes come off as a little bit forced and I guess not fully realized to its best potential in the hands of some lower budget indie concepts, here with Jessica, it feels like a film which quite confidently and firmly knows what it is and knows how to go about exploring what it's wanting to explore. Because I had a really interesting and entertaining time with this film. It stars Cali Hernandez, I guess as it's most notable of its cast, who you might know from films like La La Land. And peculiarly, it's written by a bunch of people. Like as the credits rolled at the beginning of this film, there were like six names on the writing credits here, most of which are the cast in the film, which after a little bit of digging, after thinking, hey, that's, I guess, strange to see in a film, is what looks like a result of this one being a largely improvised film. A lot of the actors are bringing their own dialogue through the scenes, which gives this kind of surreal, but kind of mundane quality to it all. It feels incredibly natural, I guess, in a way that characters are responding and reacting to certain things in a film, particularly with some of the more bizarre concepts that are on display here. And that's definitely one of the things which stood out to me and impressed me the most about this one. It's a film which isn't afraid to do some slightly more peculiar and weird shit in it without feeling the need to draw attention to how silly that is. For instance, a lot of the film revolves around the supernatural and there's an immediate kind of aesthetic that comes from those ghosts in the makeup and the way that they present themselves, which it just runs with and just makes a lot out of not having a lot, which I think is the best quality you can hope for in such a low budget indie flick. It ended up being a really quite touching film by the end in a way which just sort of subtly reveals itself to you and which doesn't overstay its welcome. One of the things that has a certain hand to play in that is its runtime, which comes in at a very nice, very clean little 75 minutes. That leanness though does sort of lend it a quality of borderline inconsequentiality. Have I just made that word up? And what I mean by that is that it's so happy to kind of just present what it needs to present and get out of there that it can often feel a little bit like you almost want a little bit more to make it feel a bit more well-rounded and fleshed out. And that can often feel heightened by the sense of humor and comedy in here and, and the pacing of this thing. It's quite a slow and as I said, mundane way through this concept. It does run the risk of feeling like it's sort of doing too little and, and, and just there for the sake of being there. I think the ending and where it ended up going overall for it seems and what it wants to talk about and what it's saying did end up alleviating my fears mostly on that part, but there are definitely certain moments in this where you're kind of unsure as to exactly the purpose of what we're doing here. But I think looking at the film as a whole and thinking on it and reflecting on it, I fall a little bit more into the camp of I appreciate that it's not doing these big things and that it is as small and quaint and sort of charmingly mundane as it is, as opposed to trying to do more and bigger things with its concept. It's also, I guess, surprisingly remarkably well shot and pieced together as a film. The cinematography and the editing of this one, I thought were really, really strong and perhaps the standouts of the production here. I'm a big fan of films which aren't afraid to just take their time doing things and settle into a feeling and vibe and just holding the moment for a bit. And this is definitely a film which does that, which might put off some viewers. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this is gonna be for everyone, but there is a fine line between feeling like you're just stretching things out for the sake of stretching things out because you're not sure what to fill your film with. And then also feeling confident enough to let scenes and characters just breathe in a moment. And I think this one definitely falls more on the latter there, but it helps that it's just interestingly nicely shot as well. I think that adds a little bit more to what might have felt like 
a bit of a pointless run-of-the-mill mundane film here and I really appreciated that so whilst I think it's not a film which is gonna be at some of my best of the year list towards the end of the year and I don't necessarily know if it's gonna have a lot of staying power in the old noggin it was still entertaining enough and different enough and interesting enough as a little independent low-budget horror comedy thriller drama gem but the film is out on digital over here in the UK next Monday the 6th of February I believe and I definitely do recommend checking it out if you're in a mood for a slightly lower key but interesting enough short little film to kick back on with the end of an evening but if you did enjoy this video and you want to see me talk about more shit or just fancy getting some more recommendations for films which might have swung underneath your radar hit the subscribe button I'm dropping content semi-regularly which is a good change the button is of course down there for that as well as my socials including my letterbox and a 30 day free trial code for movie if you fancy watching very good cinema over there. I can't imagine why you wouldn't. I'll see you guys very soon for some more thoughts and more films, but until next time, am I the only one that sees films like this that are supposed to be set in buttfuck nowhere where characters are just, you know, not having a good time and think, that looks pretty, I want to go there. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to be getting that, but I just do all the time.